Greetings to you, my dear good friends. We are on the fourth Sunday of Easter. This fourth Sunday is known as Vocation Sunday or Sunday of Good Shepherd. Jesus is the Good Shepherd. We have the first reading taken from Acts of Apostles chapter 4 from verse 8 to 12. The responsorial psalm comes from Psalm 118. We have the second reading taken from 1 John chapter 3 from verse 1 to 2. The Holy Gospel is taken from the Gospel according to John chapter 10 from verse 11 to 18. My dear good friends, our Lord Jesus Christ was once called by a rich man who approached him in the gospel according to Mark chapter 10 from verse 17 and 18. This man came to Jesus and asked him, Good teacher, what shall I do to inherit the kingdom of God? Jesus started by correcting him, by telling him, Do not call me good. No one is good except God. And today, this Sunday, Jesus from his own mouth said that he is the good shepherd that laid his life for his sheep. What does this imply? This is the shepherd that does not hesitate to teach the truth about humanity and about God. So, Jesus is teaching us to be humble, to emulate from him. Nobody praises himself. Nobody judges himself and says, I am okay, I am good. It is only God who decides, who declares, who is good before him. So, we are called to emulate Jesus with his simplicity in his humility, in his love for the sheep, for the flock. All of us, we are called in various ways to be shepherds. Not only shepherds in terms of spiritual shepherds that take charge of the church. We also have shepherds in various families. Every parent mom, dad, or in, in the business venture, the working places, in the society, political balance, we are all called in various degrees to be shepherds. So how do we shepherd those under us? We have to look unto Jesus to emulate from him. He gave his life. How can we give our lives? We can give our lives by having a heart that forgives the other. For the family of God, the small church, the family, to grow in love, in being together, in being united, there is need for forgiveness. Forgive one another. In order to show the children in the family good example, couples emulate from Christ, forgive one another. In order to show your children good example to follow, Jesus is the good shepherd. We are called to remain under Christ, to emulate, to learn from Him and bring up into the world what we learned from our Master and Lord Jesus Christ. In the first reading of today, St. Peter has continued to preach the risen Christ. You know, that is part of the Pentecost reading. As chapter 4, St. Peter has continued to preach to convince the people of the reality of sin. To have the consciousness of sin, in order to plead for forgiveness of sin, 
and receive salvation. Jesus is that rejected stone that turned out to become the chief cornerstone. Jesus is very important in our lives. Nobody, nobody can say, I don't have the need of Christ. He is the chief cornerstone. We need it. We need this cornerstone in our families. We need this cornerstone in our society to move and function well. We continue to embrace this cornerstone in the church because without Christ, nothing holds. So I pray for all of us to be shepherds that emulate from Christ. I pray for each of us to learn from Christ in order to make our society a better place. Level out good example for people to follow. Do not be a bad example. I use this opportunity to wish all the religious congregations that go with the name Good Shepherd, like Sisters of Good Shepherd Abakali. Happy feast day to you.